The hothouse improves circulation, expands capillaries, helps our cells regenerate, and relieves pain. It's listed as a Class 1 device with the FDA as a topical heating unit. Health Canada has approved it as a Class 2 medical device that gently elevates our body temperature, helps our capillaries to expand, stimulates blood circulation, relieves fatigue and pain symptoms, and is a perfect adjunct for massage and manipulative therapies. The Hot House Far Infrared Therapy is the thermal energy portion of the SOKI concept. What are far infrared rays? Well, far infrared rays are part of the natural sunlight having the longest wavelength. The infrared segment is a narrow band of energy within the 0.75 to 1000 micron level. Far infrared rays are invisible to the human eye and they're perceived by the body as heat. They're non-harmful and completely safe. As you can see in the diagram on the left, the electromagnetic wave comprises from cosmic rays to electrical waves. The far infrared rays are the beginning of the invisible ray segment of the electromagnetic wave, and they're a very small segment. Within the far infrared ray, you have near, mid, and far infrared bands, and it's the far infrared segment of that band that's most beneficial to the body. How do our body and far infrared interact? Well, all living things are made up of cells and all cells vibrate. And our cells are no different. We have water inside and outside of them. And it's that water that makes up our cells' metabolism. The wavelengths of far infrared light vibrate at the same intrinsic frequency as our cells. This match in vibration between far infrared rays and our cells creates what is known as resonance absorption. The phenomenon of resonance absorption is what heats up our cells and our body temperature and is why we perceive these rays as heat. So far infrared energy improves overall cellular performance, perking up our metabolism, helps to keep the healing process constant because our cells are always repairing themselves. Far infrared rays help improve our health from the inside out. Just as two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom create and combine to give us water, far infrared interacts with the water in our cells, enhancing our metabolism and improving our circulation. Far infrared rays reach into our cell, creating a water molecule resonance. This produces an atomic molecular resonance and energy conversion through absorption occurs. So energy conversion through absorption occurs, entering the subcutaneous cell layer, elevating our temperature, dilating our capillaries, and helping our blood get rid of toxins. Far infrared is important because it has a very deep penetrating power. It penetrates through our skin into our subcutaneous tissues, improving blood circulation, promoting overall metabolism, helping our body get rid of toxins and metabolic byproducts, and improving cellular vitality. When far infrared rays penetrate our skin, it transforms from light energy into heat energy. And it's this thermal effect within the deep layers of the tissues that causes our blood vessels and capillaries to dilate, promoting better blood circulation. What's wonderful about far infrared rays is our cells only absorb the fur that match our own frequency. So if the far infrared rays or the light energy waves aren't the same as our cells, they just pass harmlessly through our tissue. It's been found within the segment of far infrared rays that the 8 to 14 micron is the most beneficial to the human body due to the fact that the human body radiates the similar heat spectrum. So benefits of far infrared include improving blood circulation, expanding capillaries, activating our cells, it assists in cancer therapy, it assists in the detoxification through sweating and normal channels, it promotes oxygen to the cells, and it helps with weight loss by increasing our metabolism 
and the process of our organs and glands. Dr. Tate, a dentist who's used the hothouse um, in his practice, says that a one degree core temperature increase burns 980 calories per hour. Far infrared also helps with fatigue, adjusts the nervous system, improves muscle stiffness, and eliminates harmful heavy metals. It also speeds up the healing of strains and sprains by stimulating vasodilation, bringing oxygen to the joints, relieving pain, and reducing the time it takes to recover from an injury. That is huge. There's a lot of research done on far infrared ray therapy. Far infrared ray therapy has been used overseas and in Japan extensively. So as far as detoxification goes, we need to worry about that because every day we're exposed to many toxins, including heavy toxic metals and minerals, such as cadmium, mercury, aluminum, and these need to be eliminated as soon as possible. And far infrared rays are one of the most natural and safest ways to do that. They actually tested the sweat of an individual who used far infrared rays and an individual who didn't. And the person using far infrared rays, their sweat actually contained more toxins, specifically heavy toxic metals and minerals. When far infrared rays are applied to the water molecules containing toxins in our cells, the water begins to vibrate at higher, faster frequency, releasing these gases and toxins back into our bloodstream, where they're removed naturally by the body's normal detoxification process. And one of the ways the body detoxifies is sweating. Dr. Tate also agreed that far infrared rays were wonderful to detoxify an environmentally ill person because it brings about significant heavy metal detox. Research has also been done on cancer therapy and hypothermia. Findings suggest that whole body far infrared treatment at ambient temperature could be a possible way of a hyperthermic therapy for tumors. Duke University is doing research pioneering a new field called hypothermia. Scientists have known for centuries that heat has healing powers and Duke University is working on figuring out how to harness that heat and direct it right into tumors. Dr. Lipton says since far infrared rays raise our body temperature, which is also known as hypothermia, it can promote the killing of many pathogenic or disease-causing bacteria, virus, fungus, and parasites. It also modulates the immune system by increasing the production of cytokines, which are special immune cells that play a very important role in disease control, and it coordinates the immune response against mutated cells. Hippocrates once said, give me a fever and I can cure any disease. Well, Dr. Issel, a foremost pioneer in cancer treatment, stated that an artificially induced fever has the greatest potential in the treatment of many diseases, including cancer. Research was also done on pain relief, and according to several studies, if you use far infrared rays over a painful area for 20 minutes every day for three days in a row, your pain should significantly reduce. And Dr. Lipton used far infrared rays to help um, his patients that were athletes recover faster from athletic trauma. In the book, The Scientific Basis and Therapeutic Benefits of Far Infrared, they discuss the positive effects far infrared rays have on stress, stomach problems, hemorrhoids, numbness in the face, pain relief, lower back and knee pain, shingles, rheumatism, hypotension, diabetes, the treatment of cancer, radiation, induced tissue damage, breast and abdominal tumors, recovery from surgery, ulcers, burns, asthma, ear, nose, and throat disorders, its use in dental, and baldness. Lots of benefits. I also found studies and articles on how it helps with wound healing. Dr. Cabriales in Mexico uses far infrared therapy with his diabetic wound patients, but a study I found in PubMed said that far infrared rays were used on a group of rats that had wounds and a group of rats that had wounds that didn't use far infrared. 
and the group of rats and their wounds healed um, more thoroughly and rapidly using far infrared rays. And below are pictures I took from an article showing the wound healing on human skin. Research has also been done on nitrous oxide and it was discovered in 1998 and a Nobel Prize was given that nitric oxide is a gas and the body uses this gas to relax and, and widen blood vessels. It's also beneficial for atherosclerosis, which is a thickening of artery walls due to fatty deposits. Nitric oxide is like a roto-rooter for our arteries. It also helps with cancer because our white cells use nitric oxide to defend against tumors. Scientists are currently studying whether they can harness the substance's anti-cancer ability. What's really neat and why I mention this is because far infrared ray since it improves circulation and expands our capillaries, also helps the body improve its nitric oxide production. So, what makes our hothouse dome better than somebody else's hothouse dome or other far infrared products on the market? Well, our far infrared hothouse dome is set at the 8 to 10 micron wavelength, which is found to be most beneficial for the human body. It also is manufactured under Japan technology patent using a silicon crystal, multifaceted and multi-angled surface with a 160 degree span, as you can see in this picture. Far infrared rays are a straight ray of light. So using the 160 degree span and the silicon crystal lining allows the far infrared rays to be amplified so they can penetrate the body several inches deep. It also allows for the gentle elevation of the body's subcutaneous tissue to approximately 104 degrees. It's very affordable and easy to use in our home. I get a lot of questions on infrared saunas and far infrared products and far infrared products using carbon metallic. So I found an article on drmercola.com and he explained infrared saunas this way. The difference between an infrared sauna and the traditional finished style sauna is that the latter heats you up from the outside in like an oven. The infrared sauna heats you from the inside out. The traditional wet sauna typically uses a small stove with radiant heat elements, i.e. resistive elements that heat up when current flows through them. These elements heat up the rocks piled on top. The temperature is regulated by a thermostat and initially, the sauna will feel warm and dry, but once you toss water on the rock, hot steam is generated, which helps open your pores and induce sweating. This type of steam bath is great for detoxifying water-based organs. So if you have lung, kidney, or bladder problems, a steam bath, especially with some essential oils, will be very beneficial. Infrared saunas, however, significantly expedite the detoxification process. Infrared saunas heat your tissue several inches deep, which can enhance your natural metabolic process. It also enhances circulation and helps oxygenate your tissues. Furthermore, viruses and toxic laden cells are weaker than normal cells and tolerate heat poorly, so raising your body temperature helps heal infections quicker. So infrared saunas have infrared that emit infrared heat. The hothouse specifically emits far infrared rays. Both of them are going to be beneficial. Both of them are going to expedite detoxification. When it came to me making my decision on what product I wanted to go with, I wanted to go with the product that emitted the far infrared rays because that is the segment of rays that the research has been done on, especially in Japan. So I chose the far infrared hothouse. Our hothouse comes in two sizes, uh, grande or regular, and it's just personal preference, how big you are or how claustrophobic you are. We also have hothouse insulation curtains available, which I highly recommend, as your body is emitting far infrared rays, and far infrared rays are being emitted by the dome. You're creating lots of heat through that resonance absorption process, and these curtains attached to the sides of the hothouse with magnets holding all that heat in, promoting you to perspire. We also offer other far infrared products, a far infrared back support belt, 
which has special fabric in it that radiates the far infrared rays your body's emitting back to the body. We have a far infrared lumbar support cushion that comes with far infrared heat and massage. It can be used in your chair at your desk or in your car and you can use it on or off. And we have a far infrared heating pad that I love. I use it all the time and I use it in conjunction with my hothouse. I lie on it while the hothouse is over me and it really increases my body temperature more and causing me to sweat. And it's great to use on your lower back, your knees, or anywhere you have pain. So I hope this really helps you understand the difference between our dome, uh, sauna, and other infrared products with the silicon crystal lining. And I hope it helps you understand the many benefits of far infrared and why we're seeing so many far infrared products on the market today. Thanks. I wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you about what to expect when you get your hothouse and how to use the hothouse. So your hothouse is going to arrive in a pretty big box. And when you take everything out, you'll notice that you have two extensions, two armrests, and the hothouse. And the hothouse has a control box on it. So underneath the control box is the power on and off switch. So you want to turn it on and the panel will light up and go to zero. And then set the time in 15 minute increments. You can start out using it from 15 to 60 minutes twice a day. I recommend you start out at 15 minutes. See how you do and make sure that you are hydrated. The extensions are really good. If you want to lay on your side, you can put one here so then you have more space underneath the dome. Or if you want to lay on your stomach or in a different position and you want the extensions or you're a little claustrophobic, it's nice to have them. And then you can also set the hothouse on its side and put the armrests on each side. So you can sit down and do your lower back. And you'll notice that the inside of the hothouse has a grate. And this is a protective grate over the silicon crystal lining. So you don't accidentally touch the lining with all the heat you're creating. And it stays nice with its patented technology. You can also purchase, which I highly recommend, hothouse curtains, and these are insulation curtains, and they um, are magnetic, and they attach to each side of the hothouse, and they're really good at holding in all the far infrared rays and heat that you're generating between your body and the rays, um, promoting better detoxification through perspiration. So I highly recommend the curtains. I want to show you a little demonstration about resonance absorption. So I'm going to remove the curtains and put the hothouse on its side. And when you get your hothouse, turn it on and let it warm up a couple minutes because it needs to be warm, obviously, for your body to absorb the far infrared rays. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hands, palms up, and you're going to line up your wrist lines. Everybody has wrist lines, so just pick your wrist lines and line them up and then put your hands together and you'll notice that my left hand, the fingers are shorter than the right hand and that's usually typical if you're left handed, the left hand will be longer than the right. So you want to take the shorter hand or if your hands are the same length, you can use either hand. So I'm going to use my left hand because it's obviously shorter and I'm going to slowly rub it back and forth ten times on the grate to as the far infrared rays are absorbed by my hand. I'm at seven, eight, nine, and boy, my hands are getting warm. So then you're going to take your hands, palms up, and line up the wrist lines again and fold them together. And you'll see now my left hand fingertip is longer than my right. So you'll notice that at home too. And that's a resonance absorption of how our body absorbs the far infrared rays into the water molecules, creating energy, producing heat.
So the hot house is really awesome, and I know you're excited to get it. So thanks for listening. I hope you're as excited to get your hot house as I was to get mine.